TNCRadio.live, your commercial driver navigation station. Good afternoon. This is TNCRadio.live, and this is the Truckers Network Radio Show with your host, Shelly Johnson. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. Yes, this is the Truckers Network Radio Show on TNCRadio.live. We're all about the news, talk, information, weather, entertainment, sports, music, you name it, that drivers want to hear about. Quite often, we talk about health topics, which are real important to drivers. Uh, Truckers drive a lot of long miles. They keep terrible hours with not very much time to exercise. And when you combine that with fast food, a stressful lifestyle, and maybe some bad habits, health challenges can occur. occur. Candace Rivers is a fitness expert and truck driver who decided one day after receiving a message from God to help professional drivers. She heard the message while she was driving on Interstate 20 one day. She listened. Fitz Possible Trucking was born, and she's been helping drivers ever since. Welcome, Candace. I appreciate you being on the show. Thank y'all so much. I'm just excited to be here, and it's a blessing. Everywhere God lands me, I'm excited to be there, and I thank God for this opportunity for both of y'all. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. We're excited to have you. So you could you tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into fitness, and as well as the divine message you received on I-20? That That's, that's really awesome. It was. You know, you just thought. As you were introducing me in, I almost got tears in my eyes just hearing it. Every time I tell the story, every time I hear it, it brings me back to that moment because it was just such a surreal moment that I've I've only had a few experiences like that with God. And it definitely was one of those moments that it didn't stop me in my tracks because I was driving on the interstate, but it did stop me physically and emotionally to make a difference in this community. Um, so with trucking and with fitness, how does that merge? Why am I merging my fitness lane into the trucking lane? Um, to be honest with y'all, fitness saved my life. Um, growing up, as most people, you know, a lot of people have a lot of issues, a lot of things that they have to get deal with and overcome, um, family wise, relationally. And fitness was a way for me to release anger. It was a way for me to release depression. It was my heaven on earth. And it literally saved my life because it gave me a way to refocus all this negative energy and place it somewhere positive. Uh, So, you know, I started, I was always in sports, started working out. um, Then I got offered the job at a fitness center right after I got saved. And when they asked me, you know, they told me how much it was. And I was like, I can't work for that. You know, that's not a lot of money. And that's the first time I really felt the spirit saying, it doesn't matter what the money is. This is what I want you to do. So I went back, asked them if they still had the job, and they did. So let's fast forward many years down the line. um, I became the general manager of the gym. I've ran it for over 10 years. Um, Now I've left and ventured into my own business, which is Fits Possible, teaching group fitness all across my community, Um, open two studios, and everything's thriving. But the whole time, God was still speaking to me about what he gave me that day on I-20 about truckers. Um, when I was driving down that road, Shelly, it was just one of the most dynamic moments of my life because I was driving. And I was just asking the Lord, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? I know you gave me fitness. I know that this is something that you put in me, but what do you want? And I'll never forget it. I, while I'm driving, it was like a blanket of sadness, a wet blanket of sadness just came and set in my car. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know where it was coming from. And I just asked the Lord, I'm like, Lord, what is going on? Why am I feeling this? And I'll never forget it. I heard the words they're forgotten about and they think they don't matter. Now, keep in mind, I don't know who he's talking about driving down I-20. And I'm like, who's forgotten about Lord? Who thinks they don't matter? And in that moment, I realize I'm completely cradled in on the interstate by truckers in front of me is a trucker beside me is a trucker behind me is a trucker and I instantly know that's who he's talking about and I just start crying my eyes out because I'm like Lord I've never thought about truckers I'm so sorry I've never thought about them you're so right and I was like what do you want me to do how can I help and the last thing I heard was create something to get them healthier happier and let them know they matter and Shelly ever since that day 
my heart was literally, tra- it was like I got a transplant of love for truckers where I wake up thinking about them. I go to sleep thinking about them. And now all I do is stop them and try to encourage them. That is powerful. And that was what, six years ago? It was right, right about six years. And I didn't know how to, you know, I didn't know anything about the industry. And, but I was so hungry at that moment. I felt like I was supposed to do it right then. But as we all know, every, every oak tree had to start as an acorn. Um, just like a fitness journey, everybody that's out there, we all want to instantly lose the weight. We want to instantly be healthy. But everything starts with a step. Everything starts with an acorn. And in that moment, that acorn started to take root. And I started studying the industry, researching and talking to every trucker I could, going to every truck stop, looking about the food they had, you know, the lifestyle and, you know, kept doing my regular fitness, trying to figure out how I could get this to truckers. Because six years ago, the online business wasn't as easy accessible as it is now. You know, right. technologies came a long way, you know, since sure. then. And I was just, so I have notebooks in my house full of notes about truck driving and truckers and fitness. And so I just kept on doing my, doing everything I was doing. And last year, right before COVID, um, I had told everybody in my studios that I was stepping away. I was going to let my other instructors take over and really go in to after these truckers because I couldn't bear to hear the story of another trucker died because of a heart attack or blood clot. So I was like, I've got to do this. And I was telling them this right at the beginning of March, not realizing that COVID was about to hit. So I had already got the online platform working out for trucking. And because of that, as soon as COVID hit, I was able to move everybody in my studio online. It gave me time to step away from doing my everyday work to really get this trucking, Fitz Foster trucking birth. And ever since then, it's just it's just taken off like a wildfire. And, you know, my goal was if one person's life was changed. But, you know, thank God I've heard a lot more testimonies. And my goal is to bridge the gap and make it where people realize that they can be fit. They can do it on the road and that there's somebody that truly believes in them. Just like you guys, y'all sacrifice and you're doing this radio station for them. I want to get out there on the road and I don't want to be a truck driver for industries. I want to be a truck driver for truckers. I want to be out there and be their cheerleader, letting them know and be that voice in their head saying, hey, you can do this. Hey, you don't have to be perfect. We're just going to be better. And you're going to live the life that God desired for you to live. Yep. They really are our frontline workers and our forgotten heroes. And it uh, really wasn't until last year that people, the average person really started to think, hey, you know, if it weren't for truckers, we wouldn't have our supplies which is unfortunate because they've been doing this all along and they keep our economy rolling, but they make some tremendous sacrifices. Now, how have you tailored your program to work with a trucker, the trucker lifestyle? And certainly they've got spatial constraints and everything in terms of exercise in their cab. They do. So one of the things that I've realized over the years when it comes to fitness is it doesn't take a lot to get a lot done. So my you know, main program is just the 10 to win. It's 10 minutes a day. Um, 10 minutes a day can lower their blood pressure. 10 minutes a day can give them 75% more energy in a month. Just them doing that three days a week, their energy level will increase in a month 75%. Um, it adds five to seven years to their life expectancy. So doing 10 minutes, and these workouts are stuff that they can do in their truck, in their cab, sitting in the seat. Or they can do some of the workouts outside their truck, whichever one they prefer. And, you know, it's just showing them, man, I don't have time. I don't have time. Everybody has 10 minutes. And, you know, you don't have to kill yourself to get a benefit from it. You know, just a little can go a long way. And that's what I want to, you know, imp- implement into them. Just like you're doing uh, your pre-check for your truck. I want you to do a, a fit check for you, making sure that you take a few laps, do a few stretches because it's going to keep you running. The most important thing about that truck is the person sitting in that driver's seat, and that's the driver. You betcha. Yes. Uh, If it's really cold out, they're not going to want to do laps. Uh, I guess I'm trying to kind of get a a grasp of of the type of exercises you have. Is there something that can be done daily? Uh, 
if it's too cold out, they can still do something in their in their cab, and and, right. and not lose ground. Yes. So what I most of the workouts for inside the truck are like boxing style because there's so much more room in a cab now. Some of the Peterbilts and you know the flat tops are limited spacing, but a lot of the companies now they have Freightliners. They have you know pretty good space when it comes to being able to you know head space, arm space. So they're sitting in their back and they're doing it with their arms. They're not having to stand up. They're not having to do anything, but you're getting your blood moving. And it's not a, fem- you know, women can do it. Men can do it. You're And there's something that releases so much serotonin when you're hitting, acting like you're hitting something. The most stressful job out there, I believe, is being a truck driver. Oh, so, yeah. you know, yeah, incorporating boxing into your lifestyle and having a way to release that energy, lose weight while you're doing it, get toned while you're doing it, get your stomach lower while you're doing it, and you make yourself feel more powerful. It's just all around coming together to help them, and they can do it right in the seat of their truck and never have to get out no matter how cold it is. Very cool. And no doubt uh, you have tips in terms of diet and all of that, too, that uh, goes along with it so that they can have a an, an complete routine. Yes. And so I'm... Exactly. My goal is all about just choosing better. Um, so often people, they know they want to look workout and they'll try to dr- jump off the cliff, try to go all in. Okay, I'm quitting everything. I'm just doing everything. And I want to t- tell you, no, you don't have to do everything. Let's just do one step at a time. Let's start adding some more water into our life. Let's start tracking how much we are intaking by, you know, downloading, a, there's tons of apps, but I love the My Fitness Pal app that makes it really easy to track your calories. It's not a mundane, it's not a big hassle, and they can see what they're consuming because most people don't realize how much they're eating. And the thing about food, food was, we have food for energy. So if we're eating too much, all we're doing is storing, and it's going. it turns into fat. So we have to make sure we're only eating enough or what we need and it doesn't too much matter what it is that we consume but i always recommend getting some fruits some vegetables you know good stuff that's alive in our bodies and but tracking it getting water in your life and tracking what you eat because that those two things at first are going to make the biggest difference because you'll notice how much you're consuming that you didn't need it's just it's just emptiness it's empty time is being bored so i'm grabbing something right we're going to learn more from Candace Rivers, who owns Fits Possible Trucking, on what drivers can do to feel better, live better, and get fit right here on the Truckers Network radio show on TNC Radio.live. Stay tuned for more coming up. Budgeting tips for over the road truck drivers. Budgeting can be rather overwhelming at first, it requires a plan and self discipline, but there's no need to be scared. Once you get the hang of budgeting, it'll become easy and will no longer feel like you're restrained from your finances. It's a good feeling to know exactly how much you're spending and where your money's going. Start budgeting today, and you'll begin to save money and see a difference in your finances. Here are some great budgeting tips for over-the-road truck drivers. Know your why. The first step to creating a budget is understanding your why. What is your reasoning for creating a budget? What do you want to accomplish? Are you trying to pay off debt? Are you trying to save for a big purchase? Or are you just wanting to be more conscious of your spending? Knowing your why before creating a budget will help motivate you and keep you on track. Set goals. Setting goals will help you achieve your why. To pay off debt or to save a specific amount, you need to know how much you need to be saving and budgeting each month. It's much easier to save and budget when you have a specific goal. Saving just to save does not always keep you motivated. Know your income. Since drivers typically get paid by the mail, drivers have a fluctuating income. Unless you have a dedicated route, your paychecks will vary. Drivers with a set income have a much easier time creating their budget because they know the exact amount they're bringing in every month. If you have a fluctuating income, it's best to know your baseline meaning you need to know the bare minimum expenses that you need to cover every month. Analyze your spending. Next, you'll need to analyze your spending habits. You can do that by looking at your bank account and examining where you're spending most of your money. Are you spending most of your money at truck stops, fast food restaurants? Another great way to evaluate your spending is to make a list in a notebook or your cell phone 
for every purchase you make throughout the month. Keeping track of your spending will not only give you an idea of how much you're spending each month, it will also make you more mindful of your spending. Needs versus wants. When budgeting, it's important to know the difference between needs versus wants. Things you need as a truck driver. Food, place to sleep, clothing, toiletries. Things you may want. Entertainment, TV, video games, computers, Netflix or Hulu subscription. Accessories for your rig. As a budgeter, you need to pay attention to your needs first and save for the things you want. Set a limit. Setting a spending limit is the best way to keep yourself from overspending. Write down all your necessary living expenses and keep in mind how much you want to save each month. Then determine how much you want to spend. A good method to help you set a limit is the envelope system. Budgeting takes time and self-discipline. It's not easy at first, but over time, it will become easier and easier. Hey, what's up? This is Logan Mize, and you are listening to TNC Radio Live. You're listening to the Truckers Network Radio Show on TNC Radio Live. I'm Shelley Johnson here with Tom Kelly, and today we're talking with Candace Rivers, the owner of Fits Possible Trucking. She provides exercise programs for drivers to really help them get fit. Candace, um, I was wondering, you had said that actually the life the life expectancy of a driver is actually shortened, and your program can actually increase. Uh, if they do everything correctly, uh, it has the potential to increase the life expectancy of a trucker. Could you go into details on life expectancies and that sort of thing? And Absolutely. So one of the first things that really broke my heart after that moment of, you know, learning that this is my new mission from God is I started researching, you know, about the actual drivers, life expectancy, um, health issues, things like that. And this number absolutely just wrecked me, to be honest, Shelley. So the average American's eight, you know, life expectancy is around 70 to 75 years old. So the average life expectancy for a truck driver, a career truck driver, is 19 years less than the average American. Wow. Not five, not 10, 19. That shattered me. And I knew right then in that moment that one of my biggest, you know, accomplishments that I want to try to achieve and impacts is to shorten that gap and not just shorten it by a few years, but to completely shorten it and teaming up with other people in the industry that have the heart like I do. I know there's other people that are trying to do the same thing and want to help truckers. And here's the thing about me. I, you know, yes, I'm behind my program, but I'm all about encouraging any program if they're helping truckers and teaming up with people that want to make that number shorten. So for me, if us just doing 10 minutes a day, like I was talking about earlier, doing that just three days a week can add five to seven more years to your life. And, you know, one of the things that I've realized about truckers and I've, I've studied this, they are the most selfless people I've ever met Shelly. They give so much to everybody else before they ever give to themselves. They absolutely love America. They love their families. Most of them really love what they do. And, you know, for me, after they sacrifice so much and they're away from their families and they do everything that they do, the least the fitness industry the people that are coming in to try to help them can do is help give them back the years that they've missed. So that once they do decide to retire, when they do decide to stop driving so much that they still have so many more years with their family because those 19 years are being stolen. And my goal is to steal them back from the enemy and give them back to those drivers that deserve them. So can they actually reverse maybe years and years of a bad lifestyle and all of the stress and everything following a program like this? Absolutely. Yep. It's, it's amazing how our body works. We can treat it terrible for years, 
But just by changing a few things, giving it water, giving it fresh fruit, giving it good vegetables, a live food, it will heal itself. God knew what he was doing when he made the human body. And even though we can do a terrible job of messing it up, if we can also do an amazing job of fixing it and getting it back to where it needs to be, even as smokers, you know, you can smoke cigarettes and quit smoking for so long and your lungs will start getting better. They'll heal themselves again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know people a lot of times and anybody that's out there listening, what I want to encourage you is don't think you've got to do everything right to do anything because you don't. Well, what's the point? I'm still a smoker. So why I'm going to start eating better or, you know, I'm, I don't eat good. So I'm not going to stop smoking. Here's the thing. Everything counts. Yeah. Just like while we're out there on that road and we're driving and every move we make in this truck counts. So does everything you do. So just adding just a little bit into your regiment, grabbing that apple a day, grabbing that extra bottle a day. You're going to see so many benefits in the long run that you never thought you would because you thought it was too small to matter. But there's no such thing as being too small when you're doing something that's going to serve you big. You know, and I think that's a lot of the mistakes that people make. They'll go into something so fiercely and so with such intensity, they wear themselves out and they quit. Mm -hmm. Then maybe doing it a little bit at a time. That's it. And learning, you know, one of the biggest things I tell, I've said this my whole fitness career, if I don't get your mind, I'll never be able to get your body. If you don't get a control of your mind, you won't get control of your body. So we've got to start talking good to ourselves. We've got to start encouraging ourselves. We've got to speak life into ourselves and about ourselves. So every driver that's out there, I want you to start encouraging yourself. Nobody gets up by beating themselves up. It's time for you to start speaking life over yourself. Even if you don't believe it, speak it until you do. Tell yourself, I can do this. I'm going to make myself get up. I deserve this. I'm worth living because you are. And the main thing is remembering, even if nobody else is there for you, it's time for you to be there for you. Because when you are full, it doesn't matter how many people come or go because you're not asking or looking for somebody else to complete you because you have gotten full between, I'd say God, even if you don't believe in God, you know, if you get God in his right positions and then you let him teach you how to operate in your position, you'll be a blessing and you're going to see blessings come in your life. Have you encountered some drivers who were total skeptics and said, eh, it's not going to work, nah, and you proved them wrong by saying, hey, just, you know, give this a shot. Yes. You know, if anybody that's listening, I'm on TikTok, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, all things fits possible trucking. And you, you know, the biggest, I probably put the most out on TikTok for sure, uh, because it's just the easiest to get out there. But you'll see on these videos, if you go on the videos, you'll hear people, I share their testimonies, you know, that they never thought that they could quit smoking. And I've got a guy that's almost three months not picking up a cigarette. Um, He's lost, I think he's back down almost 30 pounds and just since January. um, And he's just, he's thriving. He was, he messaged me earlier, just telling me about how good he feels. And another guy, you know, his first step was like, hey, Candace, we're going to quit smoking. I said, yes, we are. He's like, you think I can do it? I said, I'm telling you, just try, just try, just, just try it. I guarantee you, the further you get away from it, the more you're going to be free from it, but you've got to be willing to try it. And he did. And, you know, now he's moving in that positive direction. You know, there's guys that are in their 60s that have lost 20, 25 pounds just in three months. And they're not doing anything crazy. They're just telling me that they do a few extra laps around their truck every time they get out. You know, when they go on their break, they walk. They do a few more laps around their truck before they go into the truck stops. When they come back from the truck stop. And they're just choosing at least one healthier meal every day. Not at all meals every, all day, just one. And they're losing 20, 25 pounds in three months. That's really it's, awesome. It's amazing. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. So, go ahead. People I'm sorry. Weight Watchers, and I'm not sure that they, they do as well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you think about it, and I'm, and I'm not slamming that particular program, but wow, uh, 20, 25 uh, pounds in three months and uh, having maybe um, had weight issues for years. And that's tough to do. It is. It is. And 
the number one thing for stress is exercise. I say first is God, but scientifically the medical uh, will tell you that exercise, just doing something that gets your heart rate up to a a normal standard above your resting heart rate uh, for 10 minutes can literally give you all the things in your mind that you need, which is 500 times stronger than any prescription drug out there. 500 times stronger just by getting out and moving. Mm -hmm. So there's so much power when we get out and we start moving. And, you know, this is one thing that I like to talk about, um, about the rest and heart rate. So my question, do you know what the rest and heart rate, why you're, why you need to lower your heart rate? Well, so you don't uh, overstress your heart because mm-hmm. it, it, work, it works too hard otherwise. And I would think yes. that'd be bad on your arteries and everything else and because it's one big pump. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're, exactly. So what a lot of people, they'll go to the doctor and they say, hey, you need to get your rest and heart rate down. You need to get your heart rest and heart rate down. But they don't know why they need to get their rest and heart rate down. Well, just like a truck, Okay say a company is going to guarantee that truck to, to drive a million miles. You get it straight off the lot and it's guaranteed they're going to warranty that truck for a million miles. Let's say, you know, this isn't the proper number, but let's say your God created your heart to be a million beats. He's guaranteeing that your life, you will be, it will be a million beats, just like your truck that you're driving. Well, if you have a high rest and heart rate, because the you need to be around 60 to 70 beats per minute at your rest and heart rate. But say you have hypertension and you have a high rest and heart rate and it's in its 80s, it's 90s. Every time, every minute that it beats those extra, you're taken away from that clock. You're taken away from that million. So the higher it stays for longer times and you keep it up there, you're shortening, you're taking years, you're taking miles off yep. of your heart. Yep. So that's what shortens the heart. And shortens the life expectancy. So if you can get that heart rate back down to a good place so that it can beat and it takes, it has a longer life expectancy, like a good truck, if you take good care of it and you don't drive it like it doesn't need to, it'll last you a lifetime. Same okay. thing with your heart. The rest and, of your heart rate is basically, it's, it's kind of taking a nap. I mean, we sleep. That's the only rest the heart gets. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yes. And see, cardio, the difference between most men love to do weights. They'll do weights all day. Hate doing cardio. You'll hear most men, I hate cardio, I hate cardio. And vice versa. Women hate doing weights, love doing cardio. So we've got to marry those two um, so they can work together. So cardio is for the heart and weights is for the body. So every time somebody does a 10-minute walk, a 10-minute movement that gets their heart rate higher than its regular rest and heart rate, it's making their heart bigger and stronger. So what that does is that because your heart's a muscle, right? So it Mm -hmm. gets bigger. So as it gets bigger and stronger, it takes less pumps to get that blood blood through the body because it's powerful. It's more powerful. But if it's not worked and we don't do cardio, it gets smaller and smaller and it has to be real, real, real fast to get that blood through. But as long as you started doing a little bit more and start working out a little bit more and getting that heart rate up for just 10 minutes, just 10 minutes. You're going to see that heart getting stronger, it pop, pumping harder, and your life getting longer. And you'll feel better and have more energy. Lots and That's lots it. of benefits there. This is great information, Candace. Really appreciate that. We're talking with Candace Rivers from Fitz Possible Trucking here on TNC Radio Live on the Truckers Network Radio Show. We've got more great information from Candace. Definitely stay tuned for more coming up. This info blog on TNCRadio.live is brought to you by the Truckers Network at app.thetruckersnetwork.net. Six things to consider before starting your career in trucking. Truck drivers are often referred to as the backbone of America. They haul roughly 70% of America's freight. Nearly every good consumed in the United States has been shipped by a truck. Right now, the demand for truck drivers is higher than ever. The growing truck driver shortage in America is a topic of concern and has been for the past four years. The United States is in dire need of people to start driving trucks. Are you considering becoming a truck driver, but not quite sure if it's the career path for you? 
Here are six things potential truck drivers need to know before starting their career in the trucking industry. Know your why. Why do I want to become a truck driver? Is one of the first questions you should ask yourself before starting your career in trucking. Knowing and understanding your why is important so that you make sure that trucking is something you'll enjoy. Nothing is more draining than working in a career field that you're not passionate about and excited about. Truck drivers are already more likely to struggle with mental health problems because of the trucking lifestyle. So to avoid dreading your trucking career, ask yourself, why do I want to be a truck driver? Long work hours. It's obvious that truck drivers spend a majority of their workday in the driver's seat. But many new drivers don't realize how hard it can be sitting for long periods. Drivers spend hours upon hours sitting down. This can result in leg, back, and neck pain. If you're the type of person who cannot handle sitting down for several hours at a time, then truck driving is not for you. Another thing to consider is how long a typical workday is for a truck driver. Drivers are legally allowed to work 14 hours a day, but are limited to 11 hours of driving time. They must take a mandatory 30-minute break by the 8th hour of duty. Following the long workday, drivers must have 10 hours of off-duty time. In a work week, drivers cannot exceed more than 60 hours of work or 70 hours over 8 days. Failure to follow these HOS rules can result in being shut down, fines, and lower carrier safety ratings. A new lifestyle. There's not a career quite like trucking. It's nothing like your typical 9-to-5 Monday through Friday job. It's long hours, days, and most times weeks away from home. Truck drivers often experience loneliness, depression, and anxiety. If you're someone who's used to working with many people, then truck driving will be a shock. Drivers will go days or weeks without seeing their loved ones, and it can really take a toll on truckers, especially those who are new. Adjusting to this lifestyle can be challenging at first, but once you do, you can live a rewarding life as a truck driver. Getting seat time. The more experience you have as a truck driver, the better. With more experience, you'll land better truck driving jobs and better pay. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, truck drivers earn an average of over $40,000 a year. Yet, many trucking companies advertise higher rates of pay for experienced drivers. Over time, you can negotiate a higher rate per mile. Your relationships will suffer. It doesn't matter if you're on the road or at home. Make time for family. Make it a priority to talk to someone in your family once a day. It can be tough for truckers, especially long-haul truck drivers, to maintain relationships with their families due to the trucking lifestyle. Keeping in contact with your loved ones will help life on the road be less lonely. Lack of sleep Getting the recommended amount of sleep each night is a rare thing for truckers. Although sleep may be difficult for truckers because of the uncomfortable way of living, it's essential to their well-being and safety. Make it a priority to get good sleep and make a sleep schedule. Set an alarm for a certain time and turn off all electronics and get your much-needed sleep. Not getting enough sleep makes life on the road miserable. Although there may seem like many downsides, truck driving can be a very rewarding and exciting career. As a truck driver, you have freedom on the open road and the chance to see America's most beautiful places. For information on trucking, be sure to check out the Truckers Network at app.thetruckersnetwork.net. There's no argument about it. You'll love the Kavachik Controversy. Weekdays at 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern, only on TNCRadio.live. You're listening to the Truckers Network Radio Show here on TNCRadio.live. I'm Shelley Johnson with Tom Kelly. We're talking with Candace Rivers from Fitz Possible Trucking. And she's explaining how just a few minutes every day can make a huge difference and really really turn a lifestyle of bad health and everything else around. And it it just takes a little bit. Candace, if you could talk a little bit more about that, you were explaining really well about the resting heart rate and why it's important. I'm sure you've had skeptics and, and drivers saying, yeah, no, eh, it's not going to work for me. I, I'd like you to convince them because I think you've got a really good program here and maybe you could describe how uh, each step uh, they can take, what steps they can take each day when they first get started. 
Well, first step is realizing how valuable you are as a driver, how valuable you are for whoever is listening under the sound of my voice. You know, the one thing that I want to remind you of is that you are you for a reason. You know, God has never made another you. He will never make another you and nobody can do you like you. So with my program, I want to encourage you to start taking care of of yourself. You know, Michael Jackson has a song that says, I'm starting with the man in the mirror, um, asking him to change his ways. You know, when we want the world to change around us, the best way to make that happen is change the world that's going on inside of us. You know, the more you start taking care of you, the more you work on you, the better everything around you gets. You know, so often we're not taught that. So often We're called to do this or, you know, we're worried about the job. We're worried about the load. We're worried about our company. We're worried about our family. But today I want to encourage you to start worrying about you because without you in your world, your world doesn't even matter. So starting with just doing a few things each and every day, one of the big issues with the trucking industry that I know is back issues, sciatic nerve problems, mm-hmm. and how just getting out of the truck and doing a few stretches that I have, I have videos for that, that you can do outside of the truck and even in the truck that can absolutely heal sciatic issues that are causing truckers to get out of the truck and not be able to provide for their family. So today I want to encourage you, you feel like you've got to keep going because your family's counting on you. Well, for you to be able to keep going, I need you to start thinking about you. I want to encourage you through my process, through, you know, Fits Possible Trucking, that you have everything you need to make it. God has never made a mistake and he did not start making mistakes when he made you. So it's time for us to start taking care of us. We've got to do a pre-chip trip on our minds, on our bodies, on our health, making sure that we're setting ourselves up for success. So, You know, the main thing I want to encourage each and every person out there is to take a deep breath. And just because you've never done it doesn't mean that you can't. Just because you don't feel like it's important because nobody's ever told you it was doesn't mean that it's not. And feelings are not facts. Just because you feel tired and you may think you're tired, it doesn't mean that you can't keep going or you can't exercise. Because the fact is, Even though you're tired, if you do a little bit of movement, you're going to have so much more energy. So in those moments, I want you to hear my voice and I want you to hear me say, hey, I know you're tired. I know you've worked hard. I know you've done everything you can to get this truck going, but I need you to get up. I need you to get out. I need you to do this movement just for five minutes, because once you do that movement, you're going to feel so much better. And you're going to, you're literally investing in you, which is going to keep you and the world and your family and everything you love going because without you, it doesn't matter. That's very true. So should people um, start their exercise in the morning when they first get up or at the end of the day? Is, Is there a better time to do that? My main thing is just to do it. Okay. <laughs> now I tell people that if, if if all else fails, just do one minute to win. You know, do something. When I used to work at the gym, I used to tell people, even if you don't work out and say your schedule gets crazy, just come by, stop by the gym and walk in and walk back out. Get the routine. So it's finding out what works for you. But I will tell you from personal experience, Shelly, the if you can knock it out early you've got a way better, higher chance of success. You know, guys, take it, take it like a pre-trip. When are we supposed to do this pre-trip before we take this load, before we move our truck after or before, before we're supposed to do it. Time we get out that truck. Sure. Because if we wreck and we, and we're like, and we mess up something and something's not right because we said, Oh, we'll just do it afterwards. Then it's too late. Is it, we should have done it before. So if we get it done and we do it before and we treat ourselves better than we treat our trucks and then we treat our trucks like we're treating ourselves because we're treating ourselves right, we're going to have a dynamic duo that is unstoppable. You're going to be more alert. You're going to feel better on that drive. You're going to be way able to you know succeed and you're going to feel better even when you get to where you're going. It's going to give you so many benefits. but even if you aren't able to knock it out that morning, knock it out on your 30 minute break. We all have to take it. 
So we don't have to take it sitting down. I want you to take it standing up. I want you to get up and start moving because that blood that's in you needs to circulate through you. And just getting up and making yourself do it and finding a schedule that works for you. Write it down. Hold yourself to it. And you're going to see the benefits from it. Is there special equipment that they need to have um, to do this? or No equipment necessary. Mm-hmm. I try to make it as easy as possible. Um, what FITS possible stands for, with, man's, with man, these things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. That's where FITS possible originally originated. And then it turned into FIT is possible because so many people feel like it's not. You know, I, I just, I don't have time. I'm too old. My knees are too bad. Um, I, you know, I ain't a million excuses. No, sure. that people, people are good at that. Yeah. Yeah. There's tons of it. So I, I've heard people say, well, you know, if I'd known I was going to live this long, I would have treated my body better. You know? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you know, there's a quote that I heard and I absolutely love. It says only to get to the end of your life and realize that you never lived at all. Yeah. So it's one of those things that the more you bring yourself alive, the more you're going to feel alive and the more you're going to live. And with these workouts, you have, you don't need anything. You are all you need. Now, do I have other things? No, I do have different workouts that you can use, um, you know, bands and things like that. But my basic 10 minute to win is just you and you. That's it. You don't have to have anything else. You can take it as high as you want to. Or you can take it as low as you want to. The main thing is just getting you to do it. That's the that's the goal. If it's one minute the first day, that's better than no minutes to yesterday. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm one of those people that are just trying to get you to start. Because if we can get you to start and we can get you rolling, we're going to help you lose weight and move freight and keep America and you as best as they possibly can be. Lose weight and move freight. I like that. That's it. That's my slogan. That's Fitz Possible Trucking slogan. Losing weight, moving freight. I understand you have a CB handle Fitbit. That's it. Yes. I like that. Um, I didn't know that another driver has to give you your handle, and they gave me Fitbit. It was either the uh, trucker's preacher, and then it was between the trucker's preacher, and then they said Fitbit, and then Fitbit. They just started calling that, and it it kind of stuck, and I like it. Um, You know, maybe (laughs) Fitbit behind me and get some Fitbits out there for the truckers to help them move a little bit more. People call you the truckers trainer too, correct? They do, but I just found out today that um, there's another person that's in the industry that actually already goes by that, and I didn't know that. Right. And I'm not trying to step on any toes or uh, cross-thread anybody that already deserves that title because I think he's already done a lot in the industry. So I might have to rechange what I've um that I might have to change the trucker's trainer to something else. I'm not sure yet because I want him to receive all the glory he deserves because he's been out there fighting for truckers. And I just realized it. And I'm all about locking arms with others that are trying to lock arms with this industry. Excellent. So I understand that your, your goal is to own your own semi and travel the country and hold wellness clinics for truckers everywhere. Yes. Yes. I want to get out there and be their coach, be their encourager, their cheerleader, um, putting on wellness events that aren't just boring. You know, you got, you got health screenings and people have that, you know, that's not something you really want to do. So for me, what I want to do is take these last 19, well, almost 19 years that I've been in fitness and use the ways that I've figured out to make things exciting and fun and implement it into the trucking world. Um, one of the things I want to do at truck stops is start having truck wars. And I have a bunch of little remote control cars that are diesel trucks and having battles where they get out there and back up. They have the backup competitions with the, the remote control trucks. They have, you know, races with them and that's going to get them outside the truck. And that's going to get them standing and moving and, mm-hmm. Let's face it, we're all still big kids, right? Oh, heck yeah. You know, so um, I just can see in my mind, in my vision, I can see these truckers getting their own trucks and having their own little battles at these truck stops and safe areas and, you know, giving them a reason to get out that truck and have camaraderie and connection again, because connection is so important and you're in that truck and it's so easy to stay in your truck and not connect 
but there's so much power even for our health by connecting with other people. And that's one of the ways that I want to implement that. And um, one of the big things I was telling you about earlier before we got on the air is my goal is for the trucking industry to be the first industry as a whole to lose a million pounds together. That'd be awesome. Yes. Um, so it would just take a few thousand people losing 10 pounds and we would hold a record of losing the most weight as an industry. And it would be a benefit in more ways than one. You change a whole lot of lives. Oh, my goodness. I, I think that's a, a really, really, really awesome goal. We're talking to Candace Rivers from Fitz Possible Trucking here on the Truckers Network radio show on TNCRadio.live. She's got some great insight, some great tips. Definitely stay tuned for more right here on TNCRadio.live. Six safety tips for truck driving and hot weather. Driving in the heat can create dangerous situations for truck drivers. Drivers need to take specific precautions before hitting the road in extreme heat. When there's an incoming heat wave, drivers need to be aware of how to safely drive in these weather conditions. Follow the Truckers Network's six safety tips for truck driving in hot weather. Every truck driver needs to complete a pre-trip inspection before driving, especially in hot weather. Check your tires. Heat can have a huge effect on your tires. As the temperature increases, so does the air pressure in your tires. During the hottest months of the year, it's important to frequently check your tire pressure. Frequently checking your tires can save you from a blowout. To get an accurate measurement, wait for your tires to cool down before checking the pressure. The heat and friction from the road causes your tires to warm up, which will cause a rise in tire pressure. Also, don't be afraid to take a break every couple of hours to let your tires cool down. Protect your engine. Not only should you protect yourself from the heat, but you should also protect your engine. One way to keep your engine from overheating is to frequently check the engine oil. The oil keeps the engine cool and keeps the parts running smoothly. Engine coolant is just as important as engine oil. Coolant helps prevent the engine from overheating in extremely hot temperatures. Keep an eye on the coolant temperature gauge while driving. If the gauge goes above the safe temperature, pull over and see what's going on. Failing to look at the situation could lead to engine failure. Also make sure to check for leaks in the hoses. A cracked hose can lead to engine failure. Check your brakes. Cold and hot weather affect your semi-truck's brakes. When you brake... You create a significant amount of friction, and your brakes become extremely hot. When you add in hot weather, your brakes have an even higher chance of failing. To avoid your brakes from failing, brake gradually to decrease the amount of heat. Also, regularly check your brake pads to ensure they're working properly. Tips to protect yourself from the hot weather. It's just as important to protect yourself during extremely hot weather. Follow these tips to keep yourself cool and safe. Stock up on water. As the temperature increases, you need to increase your water intake. Make sure to always have water in your truck. You never know when you might get stuck in traffic or break down on the side of the road. Wear sunscreen. Many truck drivers forget this step. Even when you're in your truck, you're still exposed to the harmful UVA rays. Make sure to put sunscreen on before hitting the road. Wear light-colored clothes. Light-colored clothing reflects light, and dark-colored clothing absorbs it. Wearing light-colored, loose-fitting clothes helps you stay cooler and more comfortable. (laughs) Want to advertise on TNCRadio.live? Take advantage of great discounts for 2021. Check out the Sponsors page at TNCRadio.live or send an email to info at TNCRadio.live. You're listening to the Truckers Network Radio Show here on TNC Radio Dot Live. I'm Shelley Johnson here with Tom Kelly. We're talking with Candace Rivers, the owner of Fitz Possible Trucking. You know, Candace, while we were on break, you were talking about the shortage of drivers due to the health issues they've had. And your goal is to stop that trend with what you're doing and what you're teaching drivers. Did you want to talk a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Um, so if 
you ever needed to be encouraged and you are a class A CDL holder, I want to let you know you are a prized possession, honey. You are treasure. You are absolute treasure. You are the most probably needed profession in America. Um, so all, I was asking them earlier um, while we were on break. So anybody out there, there's a shortage of drivers. And if you're a driver, you probably already know this. But there's absolutely so much need for truck drivers. And there's so many drivers that are being put out of the truck prematurely because they're having they're losing their medical cards they're not able to get that uh, approval may it be heart problems or sleep apnea and all these different issues so currently there are 300,000 positions needing to be filled for CDL class A holders 300,000 that's a big number yeah it is uh, it, it is you know that's a big need so if you're not a truck driver and you're out there um, you know, the women, I know for a lot, many years that we represented about 7% of the industry. And here recently, now we're now knocking on 10% as a representative of the trucking industry with class um, CDL, class A CDL holders. So, you know, I want to encourage anybody that might be listening that may not be in the trucking industry. I never thought that I would be a truck driver. I never thought about this industry. But since I've had that moment, I want to encourage you. There's so much that you can do with this industry and make good money and be able to take care of your family. I know we've talked a lot about the medical problems, but there's a lot of benefits behind being a truck driver as well. They're not out here sacrificing their life for no reason. They love it and you will end up loving it. Me coming to CDL school has showed me just how much more I want to respect truck drivers. And it's made me feel even more powerful because it's equipped me to know that I can do this. And I don't have to be away from my family every night to be a truck driver. There's local jobs. And most of these jobs pay better than most administrative jobs with a whole lot less mental stress as far as dealing with people. But you're having to deal with more cars. And there's a lot of stress that goes along with that, you know, being in the truck, sure. but less of the workplace drama, you know. Um, so for me, I want to help. I want to get people in the seat and I want to keep people in the seat. You are such an inspiration and advocate for drivers, Candace. I definitely want people to know how they can reach out to you and see about your program. Uh, where can people find you? So you can go to fitspossible.com. That's F-I-T-S-P-O-S-S-I-B-L-E, possible, and then trucking, T-R-U-C-K-I-N-G.com. And I, that's the same thing all across the boards, all things social media. So if you look up Fits Possible Trucking, you're going to see me um, anywhere from Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. So, you know, message me. If you have a question, you know, just reach out to me. I want to be able to answer anything that you have. And there's no such thing as a dumb question. I want you to be able to ask it if you need encouragement. If I can't answer it or I'm not the person for it, I will do my best to find the people that are. Um, so I just want to encourage everybody out there that's currently driving. I want you to take a moment to look yourself in the mirror and remember you're the most important thing in your world. Um, and because you matter and we need to start treating you like you matter and you treat you like you matter, you're going to be an even more blessing to those people. TNC Radio Live, your commercial driver navigation station. Hi, this is Tom Kelly, managing partner of Emsico LLC, doing business as TNC Radio Live. The website TNC Radio Live and any content or podcast related to the website are copyrights of Emsico LLC, copyright 2021. All rights reserved. Any redistribution or reproduction of all or any part of the contents in any form is prohibited other than the following. We welcome you to download and play the publicly available podcast and share with others for personal use. Please acknowledge TNC Radio Live as the source of the material. You may not, except with our express written permission, distribute or commercially exploit the content.
And while we endeavor to keep the information up to date and correct, we make no representations or warranties of any kind expressed or implied about the completeness, accuracy, reliability, suitability, or availability with respect to the website, the podcast, or the information, products, services, or related graphics contained on the website or podcast for any purpose. Any reliance you place on such information is therefore strictly at your own risk. For additional information, including details regarding monetization of this podcast, send email to podcasts at tncradio.live. Dot live. Dot live. Dot live.